Hi guys, and welcome to my domain. So, if you were wondering why I just did that, um, I recorded this a little bit, and for some reason, I think I accidentally paused the Audacity audio when I was trying to record, so <laughs> I have to listen to myself a little bit more again. Luckily, I caught it. I'm um, not too far into the video, but still, it's like, I don't want to hear myself more than I already have to hear myself, okay? So, I decided, well, first of all, let me thank y'all for 700 subs, guys. That is honestly really, just really freaking awesome. I know I'm actually past that by now. I'm actually at like 800, but still, I didn't want to like dip it and be like, hey, let me just do like 700, 800 together. I feel like that's cheating a bit. So I was like, you know what? Let's do like a 700 video and a 777 video. Cause I did also reach that. I actually took a screenshot of that. And I was like, you know what? My lucky numbers, I gotta do like something a little bit different for a video and a lot of y'all have been asking me to do a reaction video to my old first video my first youtube video i've ever made on this channel now before i get into that i do also want to point out that i do realize that the other video that i did cover um you know with the whole controversy situation did get me to the subscriber count i do still want to say i appreciate that it was not my intention I didn't want to spread awareness about the topic, but it was still not my intention to get to like past 700 because of that video. So I just want to make that very clear. But again, I do very much appreciate y'all. Now with this video, all I can say is that it it's hard for me not to cringe. All right, this is, this is literally a do not cringe challenge because the thing about this is it's just, first of all, I, I feel like I'm awkward and it's like, and it's just boring. Like that's, ugh. It's a kind of a boring video. I'm not gonna lie just because of the way I talk and everything and also to Also to like You know point this out as well. I know some of y'all are gonna be like well Didn't you kind of already do some stream? Yes, and no, I didn't react to the full video and I'm gonna go for all 26 minutes and four seconds, which I will never get back in my life for this video but I also you know wanted to do this video because i know not everybody got to see my reaction to that video so i was like you know what this is like a perfect time for me to do this um and for people to really just see how i was right in the beginning because not all of y'all have seen that so i'm already cringing because look there there's my intro my old intro here and it's like check look oh yeah very smooth right look how smooth that is that's what killed me, because, like, you know, I, I have nothing against just regular old 720p, but I am a perfectionist at heart, okay? So that kind of killed me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, just looking at that, I'm like, ooh, just a big oof, you know? Like, a big oof. And just even the fact that I had an intro in the first place, because, you know what, a lot of YouTubers told me, hey, to be successful on YouTube, you need to have an intro of your uh, your own. No, you the hell you don't. No, you the hell you don't. Unless if it's a very quick, professional-looking, like, intro transition, please do not make an intro. Intros are cringe. I'm just gonna put that out there right now. Intros are cringe. All right. And I know a lot of people were telling me, oh my god, but Jordan, your, your intro was good. Like, I used to have comments about that. And I was like, yeah... No, <laughs> I'm sorry. It really wasn't. So that was already strike one for this YouTube video. But anyways, hello guys and welcome to my domain. Mm. So this is going to be my first YouTube video I've mm. ever made, uh, at least for gaming, because I've seen I so like many people play games and post them like on YouTube this. and it just seems very and fun. And you can hear my audio popping It's kind of been a, a hobby I've been wanting to get into. I do want to know that if y'all had no, if y'all didn't know, um, before I had all this set up and before I even had the gaming laptop, that's right. Something came before that gaming laptop that y'all know. I actually had an older laptop, right? And I was very thankful to have it, of course, but oh my God, <laughs> that thing was lucky enough to record this and my audio at the same time. Like, it struggled, guys. Like, it struggled hard to record this game and my audio. Okay? So just imagine that. And also, I did not have the setup I had, obviously. So not only could I not record in my room anymore, or at the time, 
I recorded this in the kitchen. In the freaking kitchen, you guys. So, Jordan had kind of janky equipment. And also, if you hear crap in the background, that's probably my family. Or, you know, doing something. So, it's like... I wanted to get my first YouTube video out there, but now I look back, I'm like, chief, this ain't it. So, I've this definitely it. been wanting to get into this and start recording and playing for you guys. Mm -hmm. So, with that rant out of the way, so I present to you Detective Butler Maiden Voyage Murder. I like how I present kind it. Kind of a mouthful, but it does seem like a very cool game as far as i can tell as as it I is basically tell. a narrative about a murder mystery game uh i don't know much else about it i didn't want to read it or look at the video too much because I i'm didn't just want to like whatever staring uh, into detective's eyes on. and i can see he's silently so judging yeah me. and i understand just why rambling on i really do let's understand right why to it guys let's get right into the news Always good to have a disclaimer. You can hear when my lips open. Like, oh, that, like, bothers me. You can... I, you can hear when my lips open. And, oh, On my the dark God. And rainy streets of London. A crowd stands huddled together under umbrellas. In the middle of their circle lies a body. A stab wound to a the stab chest wound. makes it clear. Can't even say stab this person right. has been murdered. I hate myself so much. Like my oh. dramatic voice? No, I don't. No, I don't at all. Please shut up. <laughs> Please shut up. And with this, I've solved it. I'm guessing this is the detective. <laughs> good, good job on yep. that one, Sherlock. A man wearing a trench coat and fedora emerges you know, from behind the group, and they all turn. Well, I'll get into that in a minute about who was this something man? else about this video. Where had he come from? You solved it, sir. Please do tell us. <laughs> Sounds like a dirty dog. I'd say you can't have possibly done so. This here, it's what the big wigs call an impossible crime. If those men from the this yard can't wrap their heads to around it, to. then surely a commoner such as yourself. I think I gave him the right voice. So let me comment on that real quick. So. Apparently, I feel like I just basically would state the obvious, right? Like, that's what kills me about this video, because I didn't know what the hell to talk about, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the fun fact, I this time I didn't even say hell or piss, I still did it. So I guess I graduated in that sense? I don't know. But, like, at this time, I did not know what to say, right? And I was just like, uh... Yeah, and his hat is black, guys. Ha, funny, laugh, please. You know, like, oh my god. Hold it. I may be an amateur, but that won't stop me. Because I get a real kick out of solving these impossible murders. Mm -hmm. That was a nice cut right there. Ah, I, the man's I heard someone in the kitchen. In the Did y'all hear that? It does nothing to like stop the man from touching the dead pots body. Or something. Oh no, dude, I... The man reaches inside the corpse's pockets, smirking once he realizes what's inside. Oh my god, and... He seems a little too happy to be touching that corpse, but... I hate okay. the delivery of that! Okay, and y'all hear that long pause? Okay, so that long pause was me like, should I say this joke? I'm gonna go ahead and say it. So I was like testing the waters to see with like how people would react to that joke and how YouTube would kind of react to it. But the delivery of that joke was so awful. Yep, just as I thought. If he oh had God. these tools on him when he died, then I definitely know how it was done. Um, if I may politely ask, isn't there a problem? It's been raining oh. constantly for the past three hours, but as you can see, there are no footprints in the ground here. Save our own. Uh-huh. That's what makes this crime impossible. You, you, you know, you like, when you cringe so hard that your toes start, like, curling? Stab this man That's what's going on with me right now. My toes are literally curling. Oh, my God. You looked annoyed there. 
<laughs> oh, really? There was a second victim, wasn't there? Killed in an impossible manner as well. Found dead in his study, right? Ha! How did you know that? We haven't told anyone. Sorry for the Mickey Mouse voice. <laughs> Thank you for the at least freaking acknowledging and apologizing. Never Ooh, that mind that. Let me first explain the other victim. Then I'll get to this one. Mm -hmm. Right. Please. This is Please just... It, it's like it goes on too long. It goes on too long. Think back to earlier today. When the master was found in his study... The door was locked and just the servant like, had to open it using her horrid key. Horrid ASMR at this then, point. Upon inspecting the room, you saw that all windows were locked, and his only key to the room was hidden inside his desk drawer. Nice. You know, if I my had abilities like breaking, this, oh I would be trying to solve all the crimes in, in the world, especially like the ones that haven't been solved. Such an interesting point, Pretty Jordan. Cool to Please go on. Gather information that quickly. As if anybody with that kind of power wouldn't do the same thing. That's right. Wow, That's so exactly insightful, Jordan. That's exactly what happened. It's impossible, I say. A true locked room murder. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I do the laugh? I didn't have to do that laugh. In the morning, while the master was out walking. This is like. Oh. Approached the door to the study. I'm sorry, I just can't get over my voice. It's just and like the ASMR, of the door. weird ASMR. That's how he got in without using a key. Then the culprit plopped some cyanide <laughs> into the master's tea, which the poor fool carelessly left sitting oh, out. You can hear that all my peas. Why the room smelled of bitter almonds? I really showing right. Yes, now. it may be true. The room smelled <laughs> of almonds, but. No, okay, now I'm still stupid. D don't judge me. I'm still stupid today. I didn't. I never said I wasn't. You think I forgot about the sealed windows? The culprit took apart one of the frames, making sure the window itself remained locked. Mm -hmm. Then, from the outside, they reattached the frame as if it had never been touched. Same as the door. You know what? Okay, to be fair, I guess to be fair a little bit on myself, I think also the reason why I was being quiet is because I think i could see like if i was being like super loud my mic would be loud and also since i was in the kitchen um my parents would probably be like jordan shut up <laughs> it probably would well no they, they wouldn't be mean like that but they'd be like why are you yelling like i even in my room my parents can still hear me when my door is closed so imagine how they could hear me out and about in the kitchen you and know so that's how the master was poisoned to death <laughs> But you still haven't explained the most important part. Who is the one who carried out such a devilish deed? All of us gathered here have solid alibis. It was you. Why do I take so long? The culprit? You're surrounding him. It's the too amateur close to my ears. points to the nearby corpse. I get like goosebumps when I hear myself get too close. I'd say it was a master's brother this whole time. If the master would oh, the rain actually died, looks a little bit faster. Oh, no, no, be no, his no. for the taking. I'm about but when to say, he escaped out the at least window, my computer's finally rendering a little bit better. No, that's no, it's not. When his plan went horribly wrong. Reminds me of uh, the investigation channel. More times than not, people are killing for inheritance or for money. Kind of wow. sad. Who would have guessed that, Jordan? People kill for money. Wow, what a freaking concept, my dude. Wow, you're so insightful, Jordan. The master had seen all this coming and concealed Y'all don't know how much this trap on really does pay me to watch. Like, and I can't. so our culprit became the victim of a second murder. And our victim becomes our second culprit. Ooh, what a twist. So, to stop his brother, he decides to set an elaborate trap. Even though he could have done something about it earlier. But Jordan. I mean, if I knew someone was going to kill me, I would want to do something about it earlier. But... Oh, well. Why do you have to narrate like that? Hold on. There's one flaw we, with that theory. Your audience what is not stupid. The they knife? know what just happened. You don't need to give a recap. It was made of ice, 
So by the time anyone found the body, it had melted without a trace. I guess you could say the brothers were murdered in cold blood. I hate myself. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know. I mean, I know I was referencing the phrase in cold blood. But I think this was also around the time where I was reading In Cold Blood, which was actually a pretty cool book. But, oh my fudge. Sorry. And and then the long pause I have the after it. Was oh my god, it's Everything so awkward. Everything now been revealed to them by this unknown amateur. You can thank me later. I just can't pass up an interesting puzzle. But that's my style. If it's not interesting... I won't bother solving it. Ciao. Ciao. The man fades into the darkness. The crowd is satisfied with his explanation of the two recent murders and no longer need the aid of the detective who happened to stay the night. <laughs> the you put me to sleep. My own voice is putting me to sleep. I mean, you oh, know, no. second opinions are always great to have and especially one from a professional, not just someone you met off the street. This nameless detective, Why? who suddenly appeared out of nowhere, was more than capable enough. He had matched his wits against the real detective and had mm -hmm. constructed a theory that <laughs> suited the facts perfectly. This is just the only Jordan question Rousey that lingered in that overconfident amateur's mind is whether or not his theory really was what the book's author had intended. Mm -hmm. Book's author. Well, who's the author? <laughs> who's the author? <laughs> who's the author? <laughs> I like the background. I can't. I'm pretty sure that's a real photo. Just looks like it's edited. Really, Jordan? But hey, it looks works. Fake to me. The man looks now sitting me. at a modern day bus stop flips to the next page in his book. Meh. My explanation is way better. <laughs> God, With a disgusted look on yeah, his face. Look, my laptop was struggling to run this game. I'm bored. Should have brought some more books with me. My I'll God. have to find something else to entertain me now. Hentai? Always entertain yourself with hentai? I don't know if I trust that guy. I don't if know he if knows I trust his you. way around people and is a good storyteller. Who's to say he didn't commit the murder? Another boring day, at least so far. It's the middle of July and we're going on a cruise. That sounds fairly normal, but I'm not too excited about it. Well, it's gonna be Never July saw the point too. of one, my really. But my actually, father insisted I go Almost with him. So, month. here I am. I'm guessing this is a different person. Mm. A snobbish one at that. Who would have thunk, Jordan? Who would have Sounds like thunk. an angsty, edgy team, so <laughs> I'll give him the voice. How much longer until we get there? Shouldn't we be at the dock? So, just your soon? normal voice, basically. At this this time. car ride is making me sick. Great. Hey, I was right. <laughs> yeah, you were right because you probably already kind of knew ahead of time. Father. Hey, Gilligan, you feeling okay? You look mm -hmm. bored out of your mind. I am bored out of my I'm mind. Thank fine, you, Galvano. Dad. Are we there yet? Yeah, almost. You see the seagulls out there? That tells the you we're getting see closer. see these nuts. <laughs> my father points to several <laughs> see, seagulls that is flying a, around the a nearby PNG, ocean. like... Put it with a filter. There's actually a story to these seagulls from a long time ago when my and family used to live here in California. Back then, both my father and mother lived. Here. I think There's I cut out a joke there because I think I, I think I said something. And I was really like, no, I shouldn't say that. So she I'm pretty sure I did that. See them whenever she could. Sounds just like my mother. The two of them often saw Mom those birds love hanging around near the beach or harbor. The seagulls must have left my father with a lasting impression. He told my mother how they reminded him of his favorite TV show as a kid. The one about some people shipwrecked on an island. Hold on, wait, I think this is... Wait up. a minute. Let me see something real quick. He's talking about Gilligan's Island, isn't he? 
Is that where the kid got his name from? Or the team? This turned into like a freaking mushroom. If so, I have to applaud the developer for that one. Jordan, shut the hell up. You didn't even know what the what Gilligan's yeah, Island I really was. Gilligan. Hey, Jordan, you, you didn't go. even. You're so stupid, Jordan. You didn't even I'll know what Gilligan's Island right really now, was. You just knew the title. You never watched it. Sure was shut weird up. At first. I mean, there's weirder names out there, Gilligan, but. Okay. Oh, okay. God. That said, Galvano was a pretty strange name, too. Maybe it just runs in the family. The GG's. See, like, wait. At long last, we find why don't I, why didn't spot I cut and the that car part? goes silent. <laughs> Since we're finally here, I'll stop my complaining. Well, thank the Lord. <laughs> I unlock the door and step onto the pavement. The cool summer breeze greets me as I stretch my muscles outside. In front of me rests an enormous cruise ship. I haven't heard of it, but supposedly it's top notch. That's why my father booked a vacation here. Mm -hmm. Today marks the beginning of its maiden voyage, the first voyage of ship. Which I think this is when I learned. It's part of the title. So I'm left to wonder. This is when I learned what maiden voyage really meant, actually. Because I didn't know what that meant before. Oh, look, it does say GG on there. I know his tie doesn't stand for get good, but I like to imagine that. Oh, fudge. No, my humor hasn't changed. My humor hasn't changed. Oh no! Oh no! This oh no! This is a catastrophe. No, I just made a reference to his GG. Okay. Oh, mm, I don't want to hide my head. Wanna... This ship went by a different name a long time ago. Well, I can't remember it, but they refurnished the whole thing too. But it's almost like it's brand new. Ah, uh, I get it. So it's a high class ship. I that thought I would at least redone. be a little bit funnier, but no. And we'll be the ones to experience no. its first cruise. How did you find out about this? Oh, look at that action pose. Believe it or not, I'm friends with the captain. You know, company connections and all that. <laughs> you know, everybody has them. I'm not that special. So he told me right away. When he finally got At enough money to start snarky. up the cruise again. I see. I guess being the CEO does have its perks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My father is the CEO of a rather large company. It's an insurance company. So, to sum things up, my family is filthy rich. Mm -hmm. Wow. I know we just listened to. Well, I think I could have guessed that just by your attitude. I but, think it you know. Guess all this by myself, However, Jordan. You don't have I don't to point actually it out. do anything for the company itself. Well, good. You're a free loader as well. At the moment, <laughs> I only have a high funny. school diploma, uh, and I'm to be a at a prestigious university. Mm -hmm. Afterward, I might be able to get something done, but for most of my life, I've been known as a slacker. I Me. guess that's what happened. <laughs> well, I won't say I wasn't the slacker. I'm just well, lazy. Well, Sherlock, thank There's... you for that answer. Oh no, I just said sure. It's a shame that my high school GPA was under 4.0. My father pulled a few strings and got me accepted into his preferred university. What? Oh, did this happen before? Well, there's a after... lot wrong with that sentence, but we'll move on from that. Did that, okay, I forgot what that controversy was, but did this happen before or after that one? I, I have to find the article or whatever, and I'm going to pop it on screen. Did this happen before or after? Because wait, when was this video made? 2017, right? Yeah, August 20th, 2017. Oh, wow. My channel anniversary is coming up soon. That's kind of crazy. Anyways, so I'm wondering if the, like, controversy happened for or after where this one mother got, her, I think, her daughter or son or someone in to college and yeah. basically paid. Yeah, he totally cheated to the system there. What a nice guy. <laughs> oh, I love this dry humor. He wants me to humor. run the family business or whatever Stride to become just like him and take over the company someday. KFC's to do that, wings out here. He oh God, I paused to too. What is possible. going on? No, stop rubbing off. I mean, I oh no Jordan, but stop go rubbing off. With go. This plan. Shoot. I don't know what I want to do anyway. Maybe I should become a doctor or a lawyer. Settling on my father's dreams is as good as anything, I guess. 
It does feel a little depressing knowing I have no clue what I want to become, though. I think but a lot of people feel like help, that, to be fair. Be I still feel like that even in college, for I sure. I think a lot of people feel that way, even when you're... You're in college studying for your major that you want to do. I mean, hey, a lot of people change majors all the time. No shame in that. That's so My it's thoughts kitchen. are interrupted by the footsteps of an unknown person. Mr. Golder. <laughs> a tall man approaches us wearing a jet black suit and sunglasses. <laughs> the That's instrument. me. Did Jack send you down here to pick us up as I asked? Correct, sir. And you are Gilligan? Yeah. That I'm that was my mom. I'm pretty sure I just heard my mom and I cut that. Oh my god. Understood. Follow me this way, please. Oh my sweet Lord Jesus. The man leads us through the various security procedures. The customs people screen our luggage, as they do with everyone, and allow us onto the ship. No oh no, not the different voices coming up. Thank you for your cooperation. The cruise will begin shortly. But the ship will remain stationary for the time being. Mm -hmm. So please make sure everyone in your party is here before departure. Mm -hmm. Right. I'll make sure everyone's here. Take care. The man in black leaves, returning to monitor the outside of the ship. Oh. Uh... Hey, Galvan. I don't know. Uh, we're we're ignoring that nasally voice for a second. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I was like, oh, oh. I don't know if I was just like, oh wow, she's kind of hot, or like I don't know what was going on there. I'm gonna like I think I had a brain fart to be honest because I think I was trying to think of a voice to give her, and this is what I. Can't You're almost do. late. Ah. An attractive young woman comes running towards us, waving her hand at my father. Am I supposed to know who she is? Well, Gilligan, I don't think you're supposed to know her, but I'm sure your father knows her quite well, if you know what I'm saying. Oh my god, I am so stupid. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. Well, I'm, I'm so here, aren't stupid. I? No reason to worry, my dear. I don't... If he's still married, I don't think his wife would appreciate him calling people dear. Get on with the story! Oh, and are you Gilligan? She points her hand at me. Yeah, Gilligan Golder. Nice to meet you. Oh God, Eliza hate... Jones. Why nice do I say her name like that? Your I... father's told me a lot about it you. Tells, it tells. Ha ha. I suppose he does like to brag. I can only wonder if what he says about me is good or not. Well... I'd say your father seems like a good man so far. Hell Hopefully no, he's he not probably is talking crap. That's about right. You, you two have been met before. Crap about I me told too, you I invited I all the directing and narrating his story, here, didn't I? Eliza is the CCO, Chief Commercial Officer, and you, Gilligan. I gave her like the huh? voice. I'm ever. not a company member. I've never even seen the inside of the building. Mm. A little What's dramatic, a Gilligan. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. someday you will. Someday. Oh no. I feel bad for this guy right here. Eliza turns it around, waving at two more people. Because I, I give him a before. Discord moderator voice. Are these voice. the other company members? Y'all will hear what I'm talking about in a minute. You run too fast, Eliza. There's no real hurry, you know? Oh my god. Although. Considering it's Galvani, oh, stop it wouldn't that, have stop been too that, surprising for him to miss the ship. That's it. Wow. Poor Galvano. Everybody picks on him. Hey, hey. I might be getting a little slower yeah, in my old sick. age, but I'm lie. still Galvano. Underestimating me would be a careless mistake. That sounds like a cheesy one-liner the final boss gives you in any action game. That's true. I mean, I'm not gonna deny. It. That's true. Says the person who missed his flight to California, 
That's the reason we ended up so close to being late again. Uh -huh. But we did get here in time, didn't we? And that's all that matters Freaking in the end. Grass. <laughs> I need to go touch some grass in this video. Oh, are you Gilligan? I was wondering when we'd get to meet you. Howard Lujan, Chief Operating Officer. Lujan Lujan. Blith Calico, Chief oh. Financial Officer. It's a pleasure to meet Please you, Gilligan. The two of them stretch out their hands, and I comply. Nice to meet you both. Sorry if I'm a bit more boring than my dad's stories lead you to believe. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Ew. Oh, God. Please stop. Oh, come on now. We've just met you, but I bet by the end of this cruise, we'll have lots of fun memories. I hope so too. Do I you like, like how, games, Gilligan? I like how they make, of course, the girls like extremely yeah, attractive in this doesn't. game, but the guys are just kind of like meh. Of course. Then perhaps we should play a little icebreaker game to get to perhaps know each we should other move better. From the mic a little bit oh, away. Jeez, the last guy who played with ice kind of got killed. Oh jeez. <laughs> I can tell you all about Gilligan. You see, when he was a little kid, he. Did he just hit him? <gasps> hey, there's no dramatic. need to embarrass me. You know, maybe we can save this game for <laughs> later. Gilligan probably <laughs> wasn't expecting to be bombarded with questions. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh -uh. The ship suddenly shakes, and I jump back in response. We must be ready to take off. Eliza giggles, but I can't help that I get scared so easily. <laughs> the, the eyes look. The There's a reason I don't like, like so engine slow. noises. If I had to answer one of those icebreaker games, that reason would probably be the thing I'd tell people. Mm. However, it brings up some bad memories, so I try to avoid mentioning it whenever possible. I tried to block out that part of my memory whenever possible. I too. actually don't know what he's Thinking talking about. about so yeah, that's why I want to play this sick. again. Okay, if they're laying on this part thick, you know they're going to tell us about it later. See, I don't know. I, I That's why I want to play, because I did. I kind of did the story in Justice. I don't know too much about All it. All right, guys. I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, I don't want it to be too long for you guys. Oh, you don't want to be so too long. I'll leave it here, and we'll continue in the next episode. Uh, please let me know in the comments uh, if you like slides told things like this. Uh, if uh, you want to see any other games. I have a few picked out for later, but I'm definitely mm -hmm. open to suggestions, and I really would love to hear from you guys. Uh yeah, so I think that's going to wrap up the video here. I'm really liking the story so far. It's very interesting and definitely for like... It's interesting. Indie, I think that's why I say uh, for literally everything. For an indie story. No, I'm saying it's really not good. a good, I mean, hey, cool game. There's but no still. grammar issues yet. So that's already made it ten <laughs> times better than the rest of them. Dang, Jordan. So seen all the other I games. will definitely continue the story later on, guys. Everyone's proficient uh, in English, Jordan. Like it, Come on again, now. Please comment about it saying what you did like. And if there's something you didn't like, please tell me. And uh, yeah, that will conclude this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Am I just going to jump into my outro? In the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, I kind of already did my... Uh, oh, no, I don't even have an outro. Dang. I didn't. I thought I had an outro. I didn't even realize. Okay, so... um, How did this dissect that? I just... I don't know how to dissect that. I... I honestly just want to end my video here right now and go curl up in a ball in my bed so I don't even have to try and edit this, but... What I will say is, you know what, guys? I've come a long way, right? You know, as a person, I feel like, on the channel. Um, and as, you know, just the channel in general. And I have y'all to thank for it. I can't thank y'all enough. Like, honestly, I, I was talking about this in my other Friday Night Funkin' stream. It's weird to think because Friday Night Funkin' is not even a thought, I don't think. 
during this like year crazy to think about that but anyways you know when i was doing a stream on it i was telling um everybody who was there you know i appreciate y'all so much i love y'all y'all are just awesome and i really genuinely mean that like y'all helped me through so much on even that stream alone where i was just having a tough week last night so i really do appreciate you all y'all are all awesome come a long way i'm still cringe but not you know boring monologue cringe you know so i've at least approved in that regard anyways guys i think we are gonna end the video here because this one's already going on for a while so with that being said guys I still can't get over my voice. Okay. I will see all of y'all in the next video. Or stream. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And peace out.